So the first topic that I want to discuss with all of you today is going to be a an account guide for various castle levels based on no spending. So this is something I want to talk about first because, well, the whole point of the KVK strike and everything that's come along with that is striking, um, paying, spending on this game. So what I want to talk to you all about is the that exact thing is I want to talk to you about what should your castle look like what should my goals be as I continue to play this game without spending any money but then again everyone has a different castle level so I'm gonna take all that into consideration and I'm gonna you know do my best with my knowledge that I have now there's been some updates things have changed prices of everything has changed ability to attain items have changed so bear with me um, and if you feel like anything I've said might not be exactly correct, let me know. I want to correct that. I want to make an annotation. I want to, you know, let myself and let all the viewers know that, hey, there is a better way of doing this. So first and foremost, we need to talk about gear. And with this extremely attainable um, and lower cost gear, I think that Demon Hunter is a great place to start getting that plus five demon hunter now getting plus five is going to take a little while but it used to be the case of no matter what you are no matter what castle level you are if you can get demon hunter or if you're not spending you know well first of all demon hunter used to be the way that you want to look but then it turned into well if i'm not spending or if i'm a lower level and i'm spending i'm looking towards duelist duelist has much lower cost but now, with the, an extremely low cost of entrance, getting into a Demon Hunter gear set is very affordable. It's very attainable. 78000 to craft this. Now, granted, I already have one of my special gems, but special gems are only 12,800 gold. What does this mean for you? This means you need to start saving your gold. This is where your gold is going to be going towards. Your gold is going to be going towards attaining the special gems in order to craft this. So another question that comes to mind is besides you know going through all the hoops to attain all the resources and breaking down your old um, equipment, what else can I do? Well, first and foremost, your weapon will be your strongest piece. I highly recommend that your order will be to go get your weapon and then immediately start looking towards a strong piece of armor so if you go ahead and go towards your demon hunter coat as your second piece you know this will put you in a solid step and from there you need to go ahead and craft yet another attack piece um the ring my my bad and granted yeah that was sun king but it's all the same so if you go to the demon hunter ring this should be your third piece as this will give you additional attack bonuses um and that will help assist you with getting better stats um so with that being said once you go ahead and craft everything else now it's time to go ahead and enhance all of your gear when you go to enhance all your gear i highly recommend you go plus one on everything first get everything plus five get that first uh plus fifty percent residence bonus uh set bonus and then from there, immediately take your weapon up to plus five. Do not worry about anything else. Go get that weapon to plus five. And then eventually, you know, you'll be working your way up towards plus five on everything. But now we can go ahead and we can take a look at our gemstones. Because our gemstones is the back, um, you know, it's the backbone of all of our gear. So within our gemstones, um, we're going to want to go ahead and look at nobility gemstones as a good place to start. Now, getting this, it might take a little bit of money. So if you don't already have your nobilities taken care of prior to the sh uh, strike, you want to start looking towards your justice because you already have hope. And you want to go up from there. So try to work on grinding out the um, gemstones and getting up to nobility, getting up to justice, you know, doing what you can to enhance them. It's going to be slow work without spending. Um, I, 
Now this is where, you know, memory starts fogging up. I don't know with the latest updates the best way to enhance your gemstones. If someone um, can let me know what that is, I will go ahead and make like a little annotation within uh, the video after I post this to inform you all the best way to go ahead and enhance your gemstones. But you should definitely be going towards uh, at least justice. If not, get into that nobility area. Now from nobility um, and your gemstones, another great place to look for a good solid base is going to be your airship. Your airship you can always build up free experience for this. So that's not a problem. Yeah, it will be a slow, slow grinding. But airship has not changed since my last video. So I do have an airship ability. Um, and so the old video that I've made will still be applicable to the game. That has not changed at all. The airship has not changed in several months. Um, so I highly recommend you get up into the fifth, level 50s for your airship. That should put you at a solid base for just about any level. Granted, if you're up at like C30, you're going to want to be at a higher level. and you Because you want to go ahead and you want to start unlocking higher levels of these and getting into that above level 21. Once you get to above level 21, you get these additional bonuses. So you get that distance damage over here. But, you know, the higher up you go, you're going to have, uh, that's a PvE. The higher up you go, meaning the quicker and lower levels that you start unlocking these, I get distance attack 90%. Now, it comes more expensive. It's 56 million for me to go up to the next level. Granted, I already have 48 million of that experience I can probably take it up to level 67 right now if I needed to but I'm gonna hold off on that I'm not fully back into the game yet I'm still debating if I want to go ahead and sell or if selling isn't even worth it to me at this point because I'd rather stay here make videos for all of you so if I do that we'll see what happens with my account but that's besides the point beside the point um so airship, you want to get that up to level 50, 55-ish. I have a really good airship abilities video. I also talk a lot about our um, parts, airship parts, um, what you should be looking at there. Now, granted, I'm not sure how um, it has changed. However, I do know for certain that it's not going to become free to upgrade these. I do notice here, hey, they unlocked platinum. Platinum's going to be even more money. Um, however, I don't see the need to upgrade to Platinum if you're not spending, which this account guide is for. This doesn't matter to you. You're going to be looking at the blues. You're going to be looking at the greens. You're going to be looking to upgrade them to purple slowly over time. But if you go blues over purples, you will notice that it will be easier to upgrade them to a higher level, cheaper to upgrade them to a higher level, and it might actually give you a slight benefit. Um, moving on from the airship abilities, again, go ahead and take a look at those uh, older videos if you have any questions regarding that. Um, we can go ahead into the coat of arms. As you can see, my coat of arms is severely lacking in ability. This is something that, if I get back into the game, will need a lot of attention early on. You can fill this up easily and for free with the catacombs. But it will take a long time to upgrade these. With that being said, my total benefits, I, gain, I gave myself 17% in some areas just by filling it out. And I have so much more left to fill out. So please fill them out. Um, you know, it's going to be the same thing with airship parts. You just need to grind it out, okay? Um, grind it out, get it upgraded, and, you know... It's not going to be anything that's going to be expensive. You don't. We're not spending any money here. That's not the plan. So it should be attainable. It should be fairly easy to take care of. Um, and then we can go ahead into Cabinet of Curiosities. Now this does require money, um, if I am correct. Now to upgrade them with copper, it won't require money, but you do need some curiosity guidebooks in order to craft these. It's going to be a very low investment. However, this is, again, um, if you're not, 
if you are um not if you are not spending sorry um so keep that in mind now catacombs with the new upgrades I'm gonna work this out I'm gonna do it it'll slowly give you a more it'll give you some benefit it's gonna give you something and that's what all this is about is we're not gonna be getting um wow okay bye um we are not going to be getting a lot of stats everywhere, but it's about getting the easy stats quickly and slowly grinding our way up towards it for free because the whole point of this is we're not spending a lot of money. Going into the Catacombs Trader, we can go ahead and take a look. We can get those uh, purple airship parts. That's awesome. Go ahead and uh, start upgrading that as well as these good guys to part them out and trade them in. Then we also have some coat of arms, which is awesome because you would be able to again get better coat of arms available, and they also have purple now as well. That's all the catacomb strider has, but it's very important to take advantage of that. It is harder now to be able to get the coins to trade, but now here we go to the mining loot. Nobility fragments, you can get them. You can get one in 10 days. So I'm sure everyone's already been grinding that out. Keep that in the back of your mind. Hey, I need to work on that. Rare material, chest fragments, this is terrible. Uh, but it does make it a little cheaper on the gold aspect. So if you want to grind that out. Um, again, we're not doing daily deals. We're not spending any money at all for this exact um, account guide. So this is going to be your best place to get it other than gold, which gold you could get from events. Um, same with our demon hunter design fragments these are just things that you need to plan on being long term now I really hope everyone has been already grinding these out and gathering them up as well as our craftsman, craftsman tools and the desire to go ahead and enhance uh, our gear that we just got um, another thing to keep in mind all the way at the top here is going to be our purple guard purple guard uh, fragments now they have now put a limit on this. I don't like that. I used to be able to go in here, I have 354,000, and I used to be able to buy whatever I want. But now there's a limit on it, slows you down from spending all of your uh, expedition shop points. However, I highly recommend that you go ahead and get some of those sealed fragments. Also a good idea again back to the airship is getting some intensity gears make your stats slightly better um, it goes a long way now from there that covers most of the basics again don't forget your research keep working on that um, here we have the sanctuary just looked unfamiliar to me but this will cover the majority of the ways to get um, more stats in the game especially for non spenders I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of my account guides revised for the latest updates, this is Captain Cowboy.